Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. My garden tap used to have a box but it's rotten away and it's been like that since I moved in the house and I've been meaning to do something about it. So I thought it's about time I get it done before the frosts really set in. I'm going to make it out of this treated 6x2. I've got this garden tap that I can use as reference for sizing. So this material is going to be wide enough as it is. For ease I'm going to make the box square so I can set up a stop and cut down four equal sized pieces. This material was far too thick so I'm going to resaw it. I'm not going right down the centre, I'm going to go for one thicker bit I'm going to make the box out of and then one slightly thinner that's going to be the lid. I keep making passes going from either side and raising the blade each time until I'm all the way through. This technique never leaves a perfect finish, so I'm going to run all the pieces through the thicknesser to clean them up. Because this is going to be sat outside in the elements, I want it to be really strong and reduce any chance of it moving, so I'm going to join it all together with some finger joints using my router jig. This was the thickest material I've ever tried using this on, and it did okay, but I certainly couldn't have gone any thicker. With all the bits cut, I can then work glue in all of the fingers of the joints. They can then get all pushed together and clamped up. The nature of this joint tends to mean everything gets pulled nice and square anyway. But I just checked it for square before I left it to dry overnight. While I wait for it to dry I can start working on the lid. It's going to be made of those thinner bits that I ripped down and I need to glue a few together into a panel. I get some glue on the edges, get them laid out how I want and then get some clamps on. I'm clamping them up and trying to keep the whole thing as flat as possible. I made some clamps for gluing up thin panels but unfortunately these are slightly too big so I need to make some larger ones at some point. When the boxes and the panel are both out of the clamps, I can then get some glue on the edge of the box and get the panel put in place. Then I can get loads of clamps on and leave this to dry. I prefer to make the panel a bit oversized and then when it's dry I can come back and trim it flush. And to do this I'm just using the bandsaw. I can then give it a sand to finish flushing it up and sand those fingers down. I'm going to be painting this project so I'm going to mix up some two part filler and fill any cracks and gaps. This stuff sets up pretty quickly and when it has I give it all another sand down. Now I need to cut the lid off the box. I set the fence to where I want the lid to come off and then I can run it through the saw. I make the first cut, flip the box over make another cut and keep repeating this until I've gone through all four sides. When making the final cut I put this strip of wood that's the same thickness as the curve of the blade into the gap to stop it closing up. I want to attach the lid with a piano hinge so I just lay it out and mark out the length I want it to be with a sharpie then I can cut it down with a hacksaw putting it in the soft jaws of the vise. I want the lid to close nice and flush so the hinge needs to be recessed. So I've set the blade height to the height of the hinge then I can run the box through just cutting a slither off the bottom. Just to make the front of the lid a little nicer I'm going to round over the edges. With that done the box is ready to put together but before I do that I'm going to give it a coat of paint. This is an exterior grey paint and it's the same colour as I've done the front of the workshop and the log store so everything will tie together nicely. After I've given it a couple of coats of paint I can start getting it put together. The first thing is I'm going to attach the hinge. I always find it a little tricky to attach piano hinges so first I'm going to glue it on with a bit of super glue just put a few dabs along making sure they don't line up with the holes and then getting it pushed into place. 
when it's dry, I can then use a self-centering drill bit to drill out all the holes and then get some screws put into place. With the hinge attached to the box, I can then do the same thing with the lid. I want the door to have a handle to make it easier to open, so I've got a little brass knob to go on. I use a combination square to help find the centre, then I can mark out where the hole needs to go and get that drilled out. The bolt then can just be pushed through from the inside and the brass knob screwed down into place. I need a way of keeping the door closed, so to keep with the brass theme I've got this little mini hasp and staple. This can just be latched over to keep the door closed, but it also has a little ring to put a padlock through to secure it. I'll put a link to these down below on my Amazon page under hardware. To attach this to the wall I'm going to use some little keyhole plates made out of, you've guessed it, brass. Because this is going on a brick wall, it probably won't sit that flush because of the lines of mortar. So I've got some of this adhesive backed insulation strip that I'm going to put around the back of the box. Now when it's screwed to the wall, this should be pulled tight against the bricks and it's making a quite a nice seal. So that's it all made. Now I've just got to get it into place. So I get it positioned, get it at the last level and then mark out where the holes need to go. I can then drill a hole either side, get a couple of raw plugs knocked into place and get the whole thing screwed on. So there we go, I think it looks a bit neater than a hole in the wall, it offers some protection against the frost and no one can steal my water. Thanks for watching, thanks to my Patreons and please subscribe for more videos.